Hello everyone and welcome back to another Max Payne 2 video and today I am still trying to eliminate these cleaners here. Thanks fella, you saved me. They barred the door from the outside. These are terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof maybe, with the pitch. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows it. You know Ed, the janitor. Poor oh, Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. Didn't quite save it. Night. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. The <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. I'm sure he'll have no problem staying right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the asphalt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Guess he's removing graffiti. It's not the same thing. I'm. Yeah, I didn't properly save it when I closed out last video. And I do apologize, I was kind of... in a rush. But today, I will make sure to properly save. And here we are. About to unload in ya. But you're about to unload into me too. I don't like that. Welcome back to our return to Sender Marathon. Two days and two nights of the night. You can't hide! Oh! I'm not trying to. That's the thing. I'm not trying to hide. If you want me, you can come and get me. Every time I looked over my shoulder, I saw a shadow disappearing behind the corner with a glint of binoculars in a window. They were spying on me, following my every move. When Mira killed again, the map of the city changed. Like a shifting glacier, a new crack appeared with every gunshot. I had abandoned all conventional methods of navigation. I was following the bloody signs he kept leaving me. And he was watching me do it. I think I know this story from somewhere. The next episode of Address Unknown, right after the break in our Return to Sender Marathon. But I can't quite put my finger on... If this is supposed to be made up or not. Or if it is real, then... Or if it is based on a true story, who it's supposed to be based on. I have no idea. Because your home is your castle. <laughs> Forever and always, I'm going to shoot the TV. <laughs> Forever and always. Oh, those are those pain pills, yes. 
Were those the pain pills that woman was talking about last video? I don't... I don't even know. I don't even know if this is the right way to go. I'm just gonna be honest. Can't enter there. Nope. No entry there. Nope, nothing there. So I do have to go through this room somehow. Aha! Here we go. I was just checking all the drawers for stuff. This is a long route to this room. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go right now. Yes, I do have a grenade. Yeah, retreat! You would think people would be all like, There's too much noise! Oh, my dual deagles. It's like, you do realize that I'm just waiting for you to come out. I'm just camping that. Do I need to drop right there? Might need to. I'm gonna save looking right there. Dual deagles. My ultimate weapon. I don't need anything else. What the heck? Peek again! Yeah, that's what I thought. Bad guy. Into this room? Why, yes! That is a sign that I do go into this room. No? The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. Okay, so that's the end of that chapter. I swear it should be... I had to get down to the street. I swear it should be chapters, and in those you have parts one through whatever you have. Like in the first game, it would have been... What?
There are no others in view. Monad come through here. The dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Crap! Help! <coughs> oh, oh, bless you. I, I owe you one. This is where the fun starts. Yeah, no sweat. Used to be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> I was a cop. <laughs> Cost me my marriage. And quit your babbling. He was terrified something would happen to me. I busted my hump. Goddamn hump. slime bags, open Shepard up! Left there are me. people trapped in here! Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door! Are you coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. Oh, crap. I'm Violet. Violet, baby. <laughs> I'm your man. <laughs> In your dreams, Juicehead. You gotta get me out of this. Your place and mine. More of them. <laughs> Max will take care of it. Don't you worry. Max actually has backup. I'm I'm genuinely surprised. How are they able to? Sh well, it it does actually make sense that you're able to shoot through boxes. The gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. There we go. Oh, sorry. Okay, time to get to the third floor. Ah! Where did the... Oh, the third one died. Alright, come on you two. Okay, this is A2, A3, is this the third floor? I'll take care of this, you stay put. Okay, I'll wait. Come on, we're moving. Thought you'd never ask. Can I make this jump? No! And there it is. Max's story comes to an end. He foolishly jumped out of a window that he thought he could jump out of from three stories high. And he died. Lol, just kidding. Quick load. I had to get down to the street. Wow, that set me back that far. Good god. Sometimes I do not know where the save button is. Or how to save this. Mona has come through here. The dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Somebody! Get somebody! Oh, oh, you. I, I owe you one. This is where the fun starts. Yeah, no sweat. Used to be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. 
Yeah. Goddamn slime bags <laughs> open up. There cop. are people trapped in here. Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door. Are you coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. Your ass is mine. A girl's gotta protect herself. Gas valve was in the utility room. Okay. This way. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. I knew there was some good stuff down here. Ooh. It rewards my curiosity. What is this, Half Life? Is this Half Life? Where Valve's like, hey, you actually search some stuff. Hey, here's 15 suit power for you. No, this is Rockstar. And Remedy Entertainment. This is the first floor. I would hate to stay on the first floor of this uh, hotel. It looks like the ground floor of a hotel that no one bothered to upkeep whatsoever. Alright. I'm going to get down here. I'm gonna save it right here. Okay, clearly not that one. This one. <laughs> hey, you do. Can you not jump? Oh, I can't get back in the building. I need this to get out of my way. down from here. I can only go up. Oh my god. Holy crap, there are a lot of them. They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? 
A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. Innocent people got killed. You didn't do your job, Payne. To protect and serve isn't just bullshit hype. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cogniti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. Oh, well. Well, that is not where I'm going to end off the video. But it is where I'm going to save. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. <laughs> the flesh of fallen angels. Mirrors are more fun than television. <laughs> I don't know about all this shady stuff now. I know what's coming. There's no way out of it. I have to walk inside that trap, or inside that cage, and it, it is a trap. Uh, why are things so predictable sometimes? You know, I was born at night, but I wasn't born last night. I know exactly what that is. But there's only one way to progress through it, and it is to walk into the trap. There had been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. Operate. 
Your past has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. Funhouse is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? This is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. That's kind of cool. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. They must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. Is locked too. My lady, Georgian ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Of course, it's brought to you by Brandy. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord. Not so, if the other one is no lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are in question here, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful errand? Mama? Leave our parents out of this. Papa. The esteemed Sheriff of York was well on his way to recovery from the consumption when the news of you carrying on with that wench, a pirate's daughter, no less. I don't like how this show started.
I wish that would impact something. Now I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. Well, that's what will have to be for next video. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go up. I'll go up. You're the man. I have the floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Well... Mona Sachs is just like the courier from Fallout New Vegas. Just takes a bullet to the head, survives! It's a miracle! And see us, guys! I do believe that that will do it for this Max Payne 2 video. And thanks, Max Payne 2 video. I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys! Thank you all for watching.